here at Processing Fish Club Research Vessel Lake Char. Um, we'll go do a run through what we're going to do first. Um, first thing we do is identify species of fish. So this one is a fat trout or cisco wet. Um, the database is set up. Uh, most of the things are codes, so I'll say species and I'll automatically put it in the species field. And then I'll automatically tab into the weight. I'll measure the weight of the fish. And then I will say tab to tab to the next field, which is length. All the other fields are uh, coded. So for the sex field, if I say boy or girl, no matter where I'm at in the database, I'll automatically put it in that field. Um, weight and length are the only ones you actually have to tap between because the computer cannot differentiate between the two sets of numbers. Um, after you weight and length, I do the sex. Like I said, boy and girl automatically goes in those fields. Then maturity, same thing. Yes, no, green, bright, spent, all go in that field. Then I'm actually tapped into the visceral fat index, which is number zero through four. Our scale numbers auto increment. We pre-serialize our scale envelopes every year. Um, so we don't have to write on everything. Our scale envelopes just have the year and the scale number. So we put the first one in and every time we go to the next fish, the computer automatically increments into the next number. Uh, notes field, we can put whatever we want in that. Um, these fish, we're taking maxillaries for aging. Um, so we say the command max and it automatically goes in the notes field. We have a lot of different things programmed in. Um, it'll type anything we say, but uh, a lot of things are coded. So if a fish has a blind left eye, we say blind left eye and it'll put BLE in the notes field. Um, stomach, we have to take stomachs for uh, later diet analysis. So if we're saving a stomach from a fish, I'll save command stomach, it'll automatically put a one in the stomach field. It will then have our connected printer print out that fish's scale number. So for fish 498, if I say stomach, the printer will automatically print a label with the year and that fish's uh, ID number. Uh, next column is head. If we catch a fish that has an adipose clip, uh, we'll save the head for coat wire tag extraction. So if I say head, it'll put a one in the head column and then we'll know to save that fish's head. Uh, next column is bag. If we save a whole fish, we'll know if we bag that fish. Uh, same thing, if we say bag, it'll put a one in that column and print out that fish's ID number. Uh, pick is if we take a picture of the fish, they'll put a one in that column. Uh, the next eight fields are all of our lamprey wounding. Um, if I say, um, if it has a A1, a wound, I can say alpha one or A1 and the computer will automatically go into that field and I can say the number. If it has a B wound, I can say beta three, it'll go into the beta three field and then I can say the number for that. Uh, second last field is fin clip. All of our fin clips are uh, NS codes, are actually commands. So if I have an adipose clip, I can say adipose and I'll automatically put uh, AD in that field no matter where I'm at processing. If it has an adipose left pectoral clip, I can say adipose left front and I'll automatically put ADLF in the fin clip field. Um, the aging structure field is last, the one denotes that we're taking odalis from that fish. Uh, if we take our uh, code in a fin clip, such as adipose left front, the database is programmed to know that we also take scales on that fish. So the aging structure field will automatically switch to a three which shows that we took scales and odorless from that fish. Uh, if we have a fish with a tag, we can move our uh, cursor down to the tag field, so we'll put in the type of tag and the tag number. Uh, down in the right hand, bottom right hand corner of the screen, we have uh, odorless and diet. Uh, the database is also set up for subsampling so that we don't take more samples than we actually need. So it's constantly tallying how many samples we're taking uh, per management unit, and per collection, and uh, per length bin. So after a while, if we get enough odorless from a certain uh, species of fish, certain size, certain area, it'll automatically tell us that we no longer have to take the odorless from that fish. And once we reach that quota, it also leaves the aging field blank, which knows we didn't take an odorless. Uh, diet, the stomachs are the same thing. Once we have enough, it'll tell us no stomach, then we I just skip that. So what we'll do now is go through uh, processing a few fish. The first uh, one or two, I'll try to go slow and concentrate on the screen so that you can see um, what I'm voicing in as I do it. And uh, we'll just go from there. Oh, the, uh, I should probably mention the software we're using is Dragon uh, voice data recording software. And uh, we're using a Rhino label maker for printing our labels. Uh, wake up.
next. Fat. One nine one zero. Tab. Six three two. Alpha four. One. Girl, yes, two, stomach, Seven five five tab six four one alpha three one girl. Yes. Two. Stomach. Next. Fat. Seven five five. Tab four six four Girl Yes Two Stomach Go to sleep. And our label maker, maker ran out of labels, looks like. So Chris is changing that out. Um, the Siskoets are non-sellable fish at the fish markets, so we slash those so that the person uh, gutting a fish knows not to save those. Those just get disposed of. All other saleable fish, such as the lean lake trout whitefish, go to alert local commercial fishermen. label so the last one didn't print um, one of the other features we have is just saying label which is command to automatically print that fish's ID number so I will start up the system say label and it will print one um, for fish number 501 wake up label Go to sleep. What's that? So I need 500 too. Okay. And he also needs a label for the previous fish. So uh, within the database with Dragon, we also can uh, move anywhere in the database using simple commands such as up, down, back, next. Wake up. Up. Label. Down. Next, go to sleep, and we'll process a few more fish at full speed. Wake up, fat, four, four, five, tab, three, nine, nine, boy, no, one. Stomach. Next. Fat. 
755 tab 447 girl no three stomach next myself there. Um, we already have enough fish of this size. So the database on Mac has said that we don't take a stomach and we don't take an otolith. So it does not give us a scale number and we do not take a stomach. And then the aging structure also went to a blank. Um, but the next fish we do, if we do uh, take structures and stomachs from that, it will automatically do 504. So even though it left the blank, it remembers where we're at. Oh, we can also do a command uh, if we want more fish for some reason, which uh, maybe I will do that for this fish, uh, the command is override and it automatically puts in a scale number then and an aging structure. Wake up, override, tab, go to sleep. Then once we have enough aging structures collected, um, the person cutting the old list lines them up. Today we're also taking maxillary bones. Uh, then I will pass those off to the person running the computer who has these scale envelopes. purposes I wasn't going to take maxillaries but we did so then I need to fill in the maxillary field in the notes. Wake up, max, up, max, up, 